An investigation of a former Honolulu police chief has led to the arrest today of a retired Honolulu police major and a current HPD officer. They're in federal custody tonight. Both had received target letters from the feds in connection with the alleged corruption investigation of former police chief Luis Kealoha and his wife, deputy prosecutor Catherine Kealoha. The FBI arrested them today, just two days before a federal grand jury deadline, after having convened for two years without an indictment. Sarah Madison has our top story. The FBI tells us retired Major Gordon Shiraishi and current officer Bobby Nguyen were arrested Sunday. We first told you four police officers, including Shiraishi and Nguyen, received target letters from the FBI months ago. Target letters are notices from the federal government informing you that you're a target in an investigation. Shiraishi was given one before he retired this year. Officers who received target letters and are still employed have been reassigned to desk duty with their police powers taken away. This comes after former police chief Louis Kealoha and his wife Catherine were tied to an alleged mailbox theft case in 2013 that has resulted in a corruption investigation involving the Honolulu Police Department. The mailbox theft case involved Catherine Kealoha's uncle, Gerard Puana, and resulted in a mistrial. Louis Kealoha was also given a target letter from the FBI and agreed to take an early retirement. Kealoha's attorney, Miles Briner, told our Always Investigating's Gina Mangieri that he contacted the FBI after learning about the arrests. Officials told Briner they did not need his client's cooperation regarding today's arrests. And he said Catherine Kealoha has not received a target letter. We checked the federal court docket and found that neither Shiraishi nor Nguyen have been scheduled for an arraignment yet, but it could be as soon as Monday morning. For now, they will be in custody at the Federal Detention Center. The arrests come at the heels of a grand jury deadline, which expires on Tuesday. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News. And in a statement, Luis Kealoha says, I am very saddened and disappointed to hear about the recent arrests of Bobby and Gordon. These two individuals are good men who have dedicated their lives to serving our Honolulu community. I know that when all of the evidence comes to light, they will be exonerated of any wrongdoing.